welcome to the ultimate rail tour of New England in autumn. I spent five days traveling solo between Maine and New York City by train, hoping to visit some lighthouses, and I ended up finding much more than just that. Good morning, it is a beautiful day here in Brunswick, Maine, right up in the very northeast of the United States. And I'm so excited because starting today, I have the huge privilege of spending the next five days traveling back down to New York City the slow way. I'm taking the train all down this stretch of coastline and stopping in three different states along the way. It's late autumn right now, so surely the perfect time for a solo trip around the northeast. We're gonna have autumn leaves, we're gonna have cute little seaside spots, we're gonna have more lighthouses than you can shake a pumpkin spice last. I'm just on my way down to Brunswick train station right now. This is the very far northeastern end of train service in the United States and I cannot wait to get started. That sweet sweet smell of the start of the next adventure. Well, I enjoyed that very short taster of this route very much. I'm looking forward to riding the rest of that line later as the trip goes on. But for now, I'm even more excited to be here in Portland, Maine. This place came really highly recommended to me by Americans. I'm gonna go check into my hostel right now and then I already have for this afternoon a boat tour in the harbor. So we're gonna have our first lighthouse content of the trip and you honestly have no idea how much I've been looking forward to this. Let me know if I made the right choice. I think it's a good one.
Wow, that was really, really fantastic. I loved that. When I booked it, I thought that I was doing it just to get a shot of that one main lighthouse from the sea. But honestly, the hearing about the whole history of the area and the whole tour was actually really fascinating and I loved it. Before I jump back on the train this evening to head down to New Hampshire, I'm taking the opportunity to come down here to the south side of Portland where there's this huge park surrounding Portland Headlight, the most beautiful and yeah, definitely most spectacular lighthouse that we saw on the boat tour yesterday. I have to say the energy from those sugary pancakes and uh, maple syrup that I had this morning and those two cups of coffee is probably going to wear off soon. I'm a little bit fearful of the impending crash, but for now we are riding the wave and I'm absolutely loving being here. Okay, 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 okay. I just, I need you to hear me out for two minutes. I'm not gonna apologize for how excited I am about this. So in part of the lighthouse buildings, they have a little museum and gift shop because of course. And I just went in the gift shop and I saw this, which is just perfect. Lighthouse passport from the United States Lighthouse Society. So the concept is this cost, I think it was $12 and the money goes to the preservation and upkeep of lighthouses and parks like this in the Northeast and maybe lighthouses all over the United States, I'm not sure. And all of the historic lighthouses in this area have a specific stamp that you can put in to show that you visited it. And if that isn't just the exact level of pointless nerdy stuff that I absolutely love. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. That may be the start of a collection. That may be the only one that I ever get, but even just having this one, I can't explain why I found that so much fun, but I did. Okay, it's train o'clock. We're off to do another section of Amtrak's Down Easter. On with the adventure. Another leg done. I am absolutely exhausted. It's been a great day, but I cannot wait to go to sleep. I cannot wait. Good morning, New Hampshireans, New Hampshireites, New Hampshireans. Wait, wait, wait.
It is New Hampshireites. It should have been New Hampshireans. Let's be honest with ourselves. New Hampshireans is so much cooler. That's kind of disappointing. But you know what's not disappointing? Apart from this bagel that I just had, which was delicious. What's not disappointing is the state slogan of New Hampshire. Every state has a little slogan associated with it. And you often see them on road signs and t-shirts and license plates. For example, Maine, the way life should be. Oh, that's nice. Mississippi, feels like coming home. <laughs> Wyoming. That's Wyoming. <laughs> and then we have New Hampshire, live free or die. <laughs> I mean, why is it so threatening? There's just no need. But today is a wonderful day to live free here in New Hampshire, not only because of this marvellous blue sky, but for two other reasons. One, I'm taking a boat tour of the harbour here in Portsmouth later today, which means, ah, more lighthouses. And two, it's my birthday today. And right now, there is no place I'd rather spend it. The treating myself has already begun, by the way, with this delicious pumpkin spice latte flavored donut that I had earlier. And it's probably actually been all around my mouth while uh, I've been filming this, but hey, you have to be nice to me, please. It's my birthday. Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. All right. Gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Heritage. My name is Eric. I'll be your captain for the trip. Skadika is a 12 mile long tidal river that forms the boundary between the states of Maine and New Hampshire. Well, the prison was occupied from 1908 until 1974. The lighthouse that we have here is Portsmouth Harbor Light or Fort Point Light, whichever you prefer. There has been an active lighthouse here since June of 1771. And this was the first light station north of Boston in the American colony. This is the site of one of the first organized acts of aggression against the British Crown during the American Revolution. It's considered an extremely important target to Nazi Germany. Wood Island is the old Wood Island light saving station. This was one of four life saving stations all located within it. All right, we're going to head out into the Atlantic here. Just in Atlantic fashion, it is cold, it is windy, but it's still going to be fun. I want to thank you for joining us this evening, and we hope that you enjoy the rest of this fine evening in historic downtown Portsmouth. Oh, that was so much fun again. I loved it. Oh, yeah, that was really really fun again What an absolute privilege to be able to come and explore this area and learn about it and spend time here I'm so so grateful. I'm really really lucky to be able to do this and yeah again the same as the previous one I was like yeah I'm here to look around a bit and mostly just get some good angles of the lighthouses and take a few pictures of the lighthouses but then how interesting the actual historical narration of the whole area was and all the things that went on here like the naval history of the whole area you know all the battles that they fought to keep the damned filthy English out of their country that was way more interesting than I actually thought that it was going to be so I saw some more lighthouses you know where I'm going with this such a silly idea but I'm enjoying it so much and the money goes towards conserving them it's just a win-win situation tomorrow morning I'm jumping back on the train and heading down the coast to my next stop but for now my birthday is not yet over and I'm not done treating myself all this excitement and stamps and lighthouses has made me hungry I'm not sure what I'm gonna choose for dinner yet I chose dumplings it was a good choice and then there's a bar slash bookstore that I've actually had recommended to me to check out while I'm here in Portsmouth. I actually already finished the one book that I brought traveling with me this time and I even saw a little like community library on the street earlier and I donated it there. So for a birthday gift to myself, I'm gonna buy myself a new book.
Good morning. It's train day. So, so long New Hampshire. I hope that I lived sufficiently free for your standards. Otherwise, I know what the punishment is. Although to be fair, <laughs> I guess eventually I am gonna die anyway. So it's more like live free and die. Is that too morbid? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's morbid. I'm just enjoying it, you know, while I can. It's all finite. So take the 9 a.m. train to Boston by yourself and go look at lighthouses and don't be sorry about it. <laughs> oh man, it's too early to get this deep, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I just have a small black coffee, please? Yes, sir. All right, $2. That's great, thank you very much. Cheers. I've just jumped back on the metro and given that I'm a tourist here in Boston and it is spooky season, you can probably guess where I'm headed to. Salem, Massachusetts in being very busy on one of the last Saturdays before Halloween. Shocker. It's okay really, that's on me. I should have seen it coming. There was a couple of museums that I wanted to go to here, but I obviously couldn't because everything's sold out. Before I head back to Boston, I am just gonna head down to the harbor here in Salem for no reason at all. What else, eh? What else? Also, since that's another one down. It's free serotonin. And actually back to Boston, which is also really busy now. It looks like there's a game on tonight, which is really fun. It's nice to see everybody out in the shirts, but I must admit that I don't have hockey on my mind. I have noodles on my mind. Okay, 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 hear me out on this one. This morning, I have come out on the Boston Metro again, out to another part of the coastline here in Massachusetts, because I have been told that it's just a rock, but I wanted to see for myself. Let me be the judge of what's just a rock and what isn't. 
reporting live from the scene here in Plymouth, Massachusetts, I can confirm that it's just a rock. And I even read online that it's not even the rock, it's a piece of one of the replicas of the rock. But the fact that, in spite of that, this is still a monument, this is still a state park here in Massachusetts, this is still a big tourist destination, I think that's nice. I think that's a good thing about us humans, the fact that people still want to take the time, maybe once or twice in a lifetime, to come and stand here roughly where some of the first pilgrims ever stepped foot on this continent and just take a moment to contemplate it. You know, think about what it must have looked like back then. Think about the consequences that have happened to this land since they did that. I'm so privileged to get to come and travel down the coast this way, stopping at these little historical places, however just a rock they are. <laughs> Clean clothes, woo, luxury. Another leg done, and another new state. Hello, Rhode Island. So progress on the way down to New York is good. I've been enjoying every second of it. This stop on the Naval History and Bagels Tour, Autumn 2023, is Providence, Rhode Island. And tomorrow, the Lighthouse Show is back on the road. What? I did not expect this. <laughs> We're not staying in the hostel dorm room tonight, boys. Jeez. Good morning. It is a lovely, cool, autumnal morning here in Rhode Island. What a great day to go exploring. Let's go. That's just brought me to Newport, Rhode Island. You can probably guess why I'm here. Bellissimo. Well, welcome those of you who have not joined us before. This is actually my 11th season aboard this trusty vessel. That right there is St. Mary's Church. That's the church where Jacqueline Bouvier and John F. Kennedy were married in 1953. So, that's the house up there, but you'll also notice this building that looks like a lighthouse here at the edge of the property. This is actually an old windmill that burned down when Jackie was a little girl. Most popular, the world famous Newport Folk and Jazz Festival, which happened right out here on this front lawn.
nonprofit, the Rose Island Lighthouse Foundation, was formed. It was founded in the 1980s by a really feisty lady named Charlotte Johnson. She came out here with hundreds of locals, and they were able to save the entire island. So really triumphant story there. I mentioned the sea spray before. This is the time we're going to get. That was so much fun. Absolutely stunning. What a beautiful area this is. And the people and the tour were really nice as well. The boat was like a lot more chill than the previous ones that I've been on on this trip. If the thing that surprised me about the other two harbour tours that I did was how interesting the actual naval history and the maritime stories were, then this time here in Rhode Island it was definitely hearing about all the rich families that have built crazy mansions around here. You know, the last great American dynasties building these huge seaside houses uh, back in the golden era. Proper Gatsby stuff and it wasn't surprising when the people on the boat said that some of the adaptations of Gatsby have had scenes filmed around that harbour and I'm just on the coast down on the other side of the bay now and I've seen the Breakers, um, the mansion built by the Vanderbilt family. One small stamp related disappointment. When I got off the boat I asked them if they know where I can get stamped to say that I've seen those lighthouses and they said here in Rhode Island you actually have to go to the lighthouse to get stamped and you can only do that in the summer so but that's okay it's an, just another reason to come back in another season. And let me tell you, the trip rolls on. I just have one thing left to do now on this journey. One thing. It is a good morning to take a train to New York and I just have one thing left to do. One thing left to do. Great monument as we approach Liberty Island today. One thing left to do. They make their own place. The statue initially doubled as a lighthouse and was governed by the Lighthouse Board until 1901 when President Theodore Roosevelt ordered the statue's transfer to the War Department as it had proved useless as a lighthouse. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.